Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEV Somi School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 11 of annual term. And my dear student, uh, today's topic name chapter 9. From chapter 9 we shall solve basic discussion and exercise 9 from exercise 9 we shall solve 1 2 and 3 uh, problem as your cw okay and my dear student there is a good news for you there is no hw today so my dear student let us start so here you notice chapter 9 the name of the chapter is percentage so in order to solving this chapter at first we need to know what is percentage that means what is the definition of percentage please notice here chapter 9 percentage a ratio expressed as a fraction of 100 is called a percentage i repeat a ratio expressed as a fraction of 100 is called a percentage it is denoted usually it is denoted usually by the sign uh, percentage okay this sign it is usually denoted by using the percentage sign so 1% means 1 by 100 5 15% means 15 by 100 here you notice 1 by 100 denominator is 100 so it is called fraction so we go to the definition a ratio expressed as a fraction of 100 is called a percentage i hope you have understood what is percentage okay now we shall go to our exercise from exercise 9 we shall solve question number 1 2 and 3 so one number question fill in the blanks here you notice 12 people is dash percent of 20 12 people is dash percent of 20 here we don't know the value of dash so we need to find out this value okay so how can number one please notice let 12 people that means 12 people equal to this is is means equal and this gap means i uh, i consider this is x x percent of 20 so my dear student this uh, total sign is the total side is same. that means here we transfer this uh, side to the this side and 12 to the right hand side that means x percentage of 20 equal to 12 now x percent means x by 100 of means multiplication 20 now my dear student we know every number has a denominator which is 1 now we cut 20 on the 20 and 25 jar 25 jar hot 25 jar 100 now left hand side x by 5 on the other hand right hand side 12 by 1 we know that every number has a denominator which is 1 now my dear student we do, we do cross multiplication here that means this x is multiplied with 1 here x on the x then 12 is multiplied by 5 then we get 5 12 are 60 so 60 is the required answer so here we write 60 that means the question is 12 people of 60 percent 12 people is 60 percent of 20 people i hope you have understood now dear student question number two 150 percent of 300 taka is what it is so easy we do multiplication and we get the answer question number two so one 50 percent of 300 then 150 percent means 150 divided by 100 of means multiplication 300 we know that every number has a denominator which is 1 now we cut these 300 and 100 100 on the 100 100 3 is 300 now as a numerator there is 150 multiplied with 3 and as a denominator 1 with 1 so 
if we multiply 3, uh, 3 with 150, then we get 3 zeros are 0, 3 fives are 15, 3 ones are 3 plus 1, 4. So, 450. 1 ones are 1, we need not to write 1 bef uh, as a denominator. So, 450 is the required answer. So, the question is 150 percent of 300 taka is 450 taka. Next, my dear student. 3 number question, 3 number is just like number 1, 56 percent of dash gram is 42 gram, that means 56 percent of dash gram, here we consider this is x gram, equal to what? 42. Now 56 percent means 56 divided by 100, of means multiply, here x equal to 42. And now my dear student, we do multiplication. Um, before multiplying at first we cut this 56 and 100 uh, both number is cut by the number 4 4 on the 4 4 4 the 16 ok then 4 25 jar 100 so here as a numerator 14 x divided by 25 42 by 1. So, my dear student, now we do cross multiplication 14x equal to 42 multiply by 25. Then we need the value of x only. So, x equal to this 14 changes its position that means 42 multiply by 25 by 14. So, my dear student, we divide this 42 by 14. Then we get 40 on the 14 and 14 3s are 42. So, we get x equal to 325 are 75. So, the answer is 75. That means 56 percent of 75 gram is 42 grams. I hope you have understood. This is the question number one solution. When uh, this type of question comes in your uh, questions paper, then this question is come as your short question. So, you need, not, you need not to show this procedure in your answer script, you just write the answer. You can show, uh, you can find out answer by doing rough. Okay. Okay, then question number two. Here question number two is, in a school, 30 percent students were absent. Okay. Among 80 students on Sunday. How many students were present on that day? I repeat, in a school, 30 percent students were absent among 80 students on Sunday. How many students were present, were present, not absent, were present on that day? But the information give us, the inf uh, give us that 30 uh, percent student were absent. So, at first we need uh, to find out the original amount of students who are absent on that day. After that, we subtract that absent student from total number of students, then we get the present student. I hope you have understood. So, my dear student, at first we need to find out the absent student, actual absent student. So, how can, what do you mean by 30 percent student absent? That means, we, uh, from this information, we can uh, write among 100 students, 30 students were absent, right? So, here I write out of 100 students, 30 students were absent. So, in this school, how many students are there? There are 80 students. So, out of one student, okay, out of one student, one is less than 100. For this reason, division will be happened. That means, 30 by 100 students were absent. I hope you have understood. Then, out of 80 students, 80 is greater than 1. For this reason, multiplication will be happened. That means 3 multiply 80 divided by 100 students were absent. Now, my student will do cut. That means here you notice 80 and 100 both is cut by the number 10. 8 tens are 80 and 8 hundred, uh, 10 tens are 100. Now, 10 and 30 both number is cut by 10. 10 ones are 10 and 10 threes are 13. Now, my, my dear student as a numerator 3 multiply 8 and as a denominator 1, which is negligible, 3 8s are 24. So, 24 students were absent. But please notice the question. We need to find out the present student. 
for this reason we subtract this absent student from total number of students and we get the absent student uh, present student so the number of present student equal to total students 80 and absent student 24 so we subtract this 24 from 80 and we get 56 so this 56 students are present on that day i hope you have understood now my dear student question number three okay three number question who signs monthly income is 2500 taka right and he spends 1750 taka on food my dear students i repeat who signs monthly income is 2500 taka and he spends 1750 taka on food similarly uh, Shamim's monthly income is 1800 taka and he spends 1440 taka on food. Number one, express the ratio of expense on food to the total income in percent. That means my dear student, at first we find out the percentage expenditure of Hussain. After that we find out the percentage of expendi expenditure of Shamim. I hope you have understood. So how can out of 25,000 uh, sorry 2,500 taka uh, Hussain's monthly expenditure is 1,750 uh, taka then out of hot out of on hot out of 100 hot then we get required answer similar way out of 1,800 taka Shamim's monthly expenditure is 1,440 taka so out of on hot out of hundred thought then we get uh, answer okay b number question who spends more portion on food from one we get the percentage of expenditure whose expenditure is more than uh, that person spends more portion on food i hope you have understood the question now we do solution okay so at first we find out the uh, percentage of expenditure of hussein so how can out of 25, uh, 2500 taka, Hussain's monthly expenditure is 1750 taka. So, out of 1 taka, Hussain's monthly expenditure is 1750 divided by 2500 taka. So, 1 is a small than 2500, so division is happened. Now, out of 100 taka Hussain's monthly expenditure is 100 is greater than all so for this reason multiplication will be happen that means 1750 multiplied by 100 divided by 2500 now we cut 100 on the 100 125 jar hot 125 jar 2500 now we cut this 1000 750 by 25 my dear student in 1075 25 goes in seven times okay then zero in zero 25 goes in zero times so 70 and one so 70 on the 70 and here one we need not to write one as a denominator so 70 taka is the monthly expenditure out of 100 taka no need to write here percentage here you must write taka but when you write answer, then you must give percentage. If you don't give percentage, then some marks is deducted from your answer script. I hope you have understood. Again, out of, now this time we can find out the expenditure of Shamim in percentage. So out of 1,800 taka, Shamim's monthly expenditure is 1,440 taka. Out of 1 taka, Shamim's monthly expenditure is uh, Division or multiplication? Division. Because 1 is less than 1800. So 1440 divided by 1800 taka. Now, out of 100 taka, Shamim's monthly expenditure is, expenditure is 1440 multiplied by 100 divided by 1800. Now we cut this one 100 on the 100 and 100 18 the 
1800. Now this one is cut by 18 on the 18 and 18 8 jar 144 in 0 18 goes in 0 times so 80 taka no need to write here per sentence okay here you write taka that means out of 100 taka shami monthly expenditure is 80 taka now my dear student we write answer here you write 70 percent and 80 percent that means Hussain's monthly expenditure is 70 percent and Shamim's monthly expenditure is 80 percent dear student mention a point if you don't write percentage in answer then some marks is deducted from your answer script cause please notice the question express the ratio of expense one food to the total income in per sentence right okay two number question who spends more portion on food my dear student from on we get monthly expense uh, percentage of monthly expenditure of Hussain is 70% and percentage of Shamim's monthly expenditure is 80%. So from on we get uh, at the initial point at first we write uh, from on we get on food Hussain's monthly expenditure is 70% of his income while Shamim month expenditure is 80%. Here 80% is greater than 70%. So who expends more on food? Yes, Shamim spends more portion on food than Hussain. And the answer is Shamim. I hope you have understood. So my dear student, this is our today's lecture. Okay. So there is no SW today, but you need to practice this problem at your home. Okay, if, if you can uh, if you can solve this three problem easily, then it is easier for you to solve the other problem in this chapter. So my dear student, I hope this class is fruitful, fruit, fruitful for you to understand this chapter. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.